Hey there fellow zombie hunters, Jaxel here. Welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die Alpha 15 Experimental. Um, so I'm playing on Last Man on Earth, random gen. Um, I went into the, um, the editor and I went for uh, size 5. I don't know if that is going to change anything or not. I'm hoping it does. Um, day length is 18. 120 minute days just because I like that backpack only everything else is default uh, I did just load the map in just because I wanted to take a look and uh, I already started a game earlier on this um, with this title and it looked like a pretty cool map so I'm gonna have fun with it I think uh, also in the comments um, I was asked to uh, to do a bit of a tutorial so I'm going to do that um, this is pretty much where I started on the map. I haven't really gone anywhere. Uh, the only thing I have done is I've gathered just a few things. And uh, as I was getting ready just to test my recording out here, making sure that we have good sound. Because, well, I want to make sure that my sound recordings are good. So, alright, we need to gather two more stones. There's one and two. And now we can craft ourselves an axe stone axe all right so the first thing i'm going to do here is i'm going to go through a few of these things here and i'm going to set them as favorites wood spikes are one of my favorites um and then let's go under uh weapons and we're going to favorite the arrow and the bow and the not the barb it's the barb club the one forged iron yeah no we want the iron reinforced club and we're going to favorite that one as well. Uh, other than that, for now, oh yes, one more thing I want to, uh, is, is the wood frames. We're going to want to favorite that as well because those are going to be something we are going to be using a shit ton of. So, um, so let's go back to tools and the stone axe and let's craft one right now. <laughs> Uh, yucca fruit is unbelievably helpful. I never realized this before. So if you start out in the desert, um, yucca fruit will be your savior when it comes to uh, wanting to keep your uh, your stamina up while on the go. Uh, it's it's got a very um, plus ten. It it's really good as long as you're still a little hungry, you can keep using it. So it's really helpful. Um, now, depending on where you start in the game, certain biomes are easier than others, obviously. Uh, forest biome is probably the easiest just because it's this, the resources are abound. Like, you got wood, like wood for days. Um, in the desert, not so much. But there are ways of... Uh, ah, fuck, I touched that stupid fucking cactus. All right, there's my stone axe. So we're good to go. So now we've got to get some resources on the go here. Uh, it wants plant fiber. Well, I got some already. Cactus are awesome. Doesn't matter what size they are. They all have 100 health. And they all give you more yucca fruit. And in the desert, you will be using uh, yucca fruit like freaking crazy. I will be drinking yucca fruit juice like mm, there's no tomorrow until I find some water. Uh, so, with that said... Uh, yuck is pretty easy to come by now. Uh, so, now, where am I on the map here? Let's, let's just take a quick look at where they started me off. Uh, so I'm east. So if I head this way. Uh, keep going. And down. And we'll just make a, a, a waypoint for... Uh, hub and that was one thing I did like about uh, the the generator uh, for generating your maps uh, you can actually have a little bit of a sneak peek as to what your maps gonna look like I did uh, it's pretty cool how you can actually do that uh, looks like there are probably about 30 towns it looks like I didn't do an exact count but I'm just estimating there's about 30 little towns that I can use so that's awesome. 
Okay, now we've got our stone axe. We're going to need another one right away. So we're going to get one crafted up just, just to have it. Now let's get some wood. You're going to need tons of wood. Um, if you have any questions, like I know I'm kind of saying I'm doing a kind of a tutorial. I may miss a few things just because, well, I have played so many bloody times. Looks like there's a bit of snow biome up there. I'm not going to go near it right though. Right now though, uh, I want to head. Uh, I'm gonna head in the mark. Oh yeah, that's what the. Yeah, that's right. Oh, there's a chicken. We want that. Chickens are awesome for uh, uh, feathers. You can't go wrong with getting a chicken. I'll take it right now. A little bit of meat. I don't really like packing meat. Oh, yeah, and that's the other thing about being in the desert. Uh, if you see aloe vera, pick it up. It's the only way to get good bandages, uh, other than just straight cloth bandages. Uh, you'll you'll be taking the aloe vera and turning that into aloe vera cream. And best to be doing that right off the bat because it does take a little bit of time, and you may as well get it done as you have it. So, like I said, I'm going to be kind of staggering back and forth over a few things here. Um, I may, I may zip back on a few things. I don't mean to, it's just how it is. I get a little scatterbrained and I don't mean to, but it is what it is. So desert is probably the easiest for finding like the, the bird's nests. And also I used to find it difficult to stay hydrated, but because of the yucca juice, um, not so much anymore. It, it, it's pretty easy. So. Uh, okay, now let's let's finish off these quests because these things are really fucking annoying. Is that another? Well, that's a bunny. I don't want the bunny. Um, okay, let's get the clothes out of the way here. So we need to do a plant fiber hood, pants, shirt, shoes, and gloves. So once those are all done, we'll be getting on those. All right, we need how much stone do we have? Stone is. Uh, a little harder to come by now. It doesn't. Uh, you don't get as much. I've noticed. That might just be me, because uh, I'm so used to playing at higher levels. Because I, I I try and speed level to get there. All right. Okay. So we got everything ready. Okay. Now let's go over to our character menu here. I'm a check this time. I figure I change that up. Let's get all this shit on. Now we're done. And quite honestly. <laughs> We're not going to be wearing it. We're in the desert, and I will be overheating like a son of a bitch if I'm wearing that shit. So we're just going to scrap it off right now, because I don't need it. That is also one thing that they have done that is an awesome change. Uh, that now any tool or whatever you have, you can scrap it back down to its original uh, components. So, ooh, we got it. Some pills, we'll take those. The aloe cream you can use on its own. Um, it does have some health benefits, but it uh, gives you plus 10 health, but not something I'm going to be uh, going to be doing here. I try and save them just for the bandages themselves, because the bandages themselves, um, they actually will give you your health back. They stop the bleeding out, removes bleeding. Um, so, yeah. It is something that is uh, a little bit better. Okay, so where is my map? Again, let's take a look here. Where's my mark? Right there. Let's make a quick waypoint so you can see where the hub is. And, all right, let's get motor in here. This map from when I uh, originally logged it in uh, was a pretty crazy map. Okay, so we got the wood. Uh, they want me to craft a wooden club here, so let's get that out of the way. I will spam craft this shit later. Uh, I recommend anybody who wants to get the uh, get their weapon skill up, uh, you you will want to spam craft as much of this shit as you can. Uh, my bow, I don't craft right away. The first thing I usually craft is my arrows. I get those done. It takes a minute. But I'm in the starting area, so zombies are not going to be an issue. Um, well, they 
they they will soon become an issue because they're going to start popping up here soon enough. And then I'll, I'll have to contend with them when I do. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to make was I... Stone shovel. I'm missing stone. Okay, so we got, we're going to have to break up one of these boulders here. I think this is the one I started on. Let's just crack this up right away. How many arrows I got? Probably just about done with the arrows. Yeah, 10 left to go. Okay. And then we'll get the wooden bow crafted just to get it done and out of the way. See, weaponsmithing is now level 2, and that's just because I've been crafting arrows. The arrows are you're going to be your, your quickest way. That and bullets to getting your, uh, your weaponsmithing up quickly. At least I still think bullets work. I'm pretty sure they do. Although I haven't had a chance to make a lot of them, so. There we go. So we've got what for stone now? 67. So let's craft another stone axe. And I'm out of wood again. Ah, oh, motherfuck. Okay. Now this is the one thing about the, the beginning of the game. You always run lean on everything. So I need to find some wood. Yeah, there's a little bit. Nope, come on. Thank you. Okay, so we've got what, six wood. That should give me my stone shovel. I want a stone shovel because I want to grab clay. Uh, I like to grab a lot of my starting resources right away. Um, it's just how I like to play. I like to have it all right off the bat. I will be crafting another stone axe here as soon as I get a little bit more wood. And, well, we may as well pick up these stone along the way. Uh, another stone axe. Let's craft it and get it up. So that way, this one, we can scrap it. And we can... Let's get the shovel on the bar as well. Because I did see on the map here, I'm right near some clay. And that's the direction I want to be heading. So let's, uh, let's head this way. Oh, that's empty. That's right, because I already did these ones. Because this is exactly where I started. All right. Keep my eye out for wood. There we go. The beginning of the game is always a little bit rough. It is what it is. What do you, you know? It's you're starting out level one. It's what you get. So, and okay, so I can craft some more arrows. So let's do that while we're at it. How come I can only craft ten? I only have ten wood. Okay. There we go. We've crafted our, our bow. So let's get the bow on the bar as well. Uh, we don't need a torch right now. It's daytime. So let's deal with that. And let's make another aloe vera cream. And oh, I want that. And more wood. Good. Because now I need to gather a shit ton of wood to get me moved on with this quest line. Which... I could avoid it, and I could just say, screw it, I'm not doing it, but you kind of got to do it. So, get it out of the way and get it done. That's my that's my logic. Oh, duct tape. Oh, I love when I find duct tape like that. Alright. We should almost, yeah, we're almost got enough wood. Okay, there we go. Every biome does have exactly what you're looking for. It's just, um, it just depends on, uh wood frame we need three so we're going to craft three and while those are crafting we're going to get some more wood at the beginning of the game uh don't scrap your um the tin cans that you find you're going to want to keep your tin cans because it is a way to boil water without a pot so i won't be uh I won't be boil. I won't be uh, cra uh, scrapping them down just yet. It doesn't make any sense to when I'm just gonna need them anyway. So, all right. So where are these wood frames? Put those on the bar real quick, and put them up right here. One, two, and three. And then with the stone axe, we'll upgrade them really quick. done all right 
This is not going to be my base. I just do it to get it out of the way. I don't like pissing around with this shit. Okay, we got to craft a bedroll. So we'll just type uh, bed. We'll craft one of them right now. And while we're waiting for that to craft up, let's get some more resources. Let's get, we'll take a couple of cactus out while we're waiting. Perfect. And one more. Get more yucca fruit. Why not? And let's get that on the bar. I could shift click it. I know. Just sometimes I just don't think to. Okay. There's our bedroll. And next quest will be um, uh, create a campfire. Let's craft one of them up. Rotten I out. And then we can get that on. There we go. And we're done. And just because we can, let's. Uh, let's do some charred meat. Let's put that up right now. 13 seconds. We'll have some charred meat. All right. Let's grab a little bit more plant fiber and some more wood while we're waiting. Maybe grab the yucca. Why not? Okay, we can drink right now. So we're going to drink the water. And then uh, we will... Oh, whoops. We will make another yucca juice. So we have at least two of them on the go. Okay. And then we are going to eat our charred meat. Good to go. Now, I could leave, uh, take this with me, but I'm just going to leave it here. I don't really need to bring it with me. All right. Let's break up another stone here. Oh, yeah. While I'm waiting here, we should always be crafting. Uh, we're going to scrap those. We need, uh, you need the, the, the scrap iron in order to make your next weapon, which I like to have a better club than that. So, now how much wood do I have left? 46 okay so we're gonna grab a little bit more wood and we'll get some more of these arrows popped off so as soon as I get that okay so that's gonna take a few more seconds let's grab this wood while we're waiting and of course we'll scrap that get to get going on here Where's that chicken? Damn it, there's a dead chicken somewhere and I'm not gonna get it. Well, damn you anyway. Oh well. Let's just continue on with this. Let's get some more wood. Fuck it. Now I'm gonna probably look for a forge house right off the bat if I can find one. I think that would probably be my best bet. Well, let's grab this yucca. Or, or not, and the, the aloe cream. Let's craft that up right away. So I'll at least have four, four of those now. Alright, where are we at here? Let's get a... Oh, there's water over there. Nice. Okay, we're going to keep grabbing the yucca because I can live off a of yucca for a little while if I have to. Let's grab that. Grab more of this shit because it's here. And that's actually the other thing I'm going to do now that I'm... Uh, i got to stop for a sec. There we go. Okay. Um, we're going to grab a bit of this clay here. I like to have a lot of resources uh, right off the bat. So if I find what I'm looking for, i.e. a forge, I already have shit to put in it. I don't have to go out and looking for more clay. I already got it. So once I hit 200, that'll probably be good for clay for now. Two, 300, something like that. Like I said, I always try and find what I'm looking for right off the bat. Just get it done. How much do I got? 160? Oh, no, we don't want sand. We want clay. Let's grab this other little chunk here. 
What do we got? 200? Yeah, 200 should be. Now, let's grab another another 100 or two. Just because 200 clay doesn't get you very far. And I want to already have it with me, so. 240. So, I don't know. We'll do a couple more of these. And you always want to finish things off. Everything gives you a bonus. Like, there's 24 pieces of extra clay. Just because I spent the time to take the whole block out. Same with a tree. Uh, same with everything. Everything gives you an added bonus for completing it. So you're always better to complete it. And that, of course, needs to be repaired. And I, I, I do like the fact that you can repair your stone stuff now. So you may as well. Still gives you your... Uh, um, your level up for your whatever uh, tool or weapon it is. May not give you very as much as building a new one, but yeah, 400 is probably good enough number for now. Okay, so there's a campsite over there, and I'm probably just going to run through it and see if there's a cooking pot, and that'll be it. I'm not going to hang out there. I don't want to. That sounds kind of silly to me. Uh, now let's make up more arrows. Because arrows are going to be something that you do not want to run out of. And I I ran out in my last uh, run through an experimental here. And, well, oop, I don't want to do that. I wanted to do that. So, yeah, running out is not an option. If I don't have it, then I'm going to die. So we're going to grab some more wood and some more stone. And I do apologize to all you folks who have already seen, you know, been through this and you play all the time. Um, but I figured there are a lot of people who are new to the game and I was asked to do this, so I'm, I'm going to do it to, uh, this, just for this video anyway, at least. And maybe, you know, little bits, little tidbits of information here and there as we go as well, as time goes on. But for now, okay, we're going to take out one more of these stones. Like I said, finish it off. It does take a bit of time, but it's in your advantage to do so. If you can. You know, if you don't have the tools or the, the time or whatever, then, you know, you do what you can. But you're always better off to finish it. You know, an extra 12 stone is an extra 12 stone in my mind. So, okay, so we got 50 and 50. Um, I should probably craft another stone axe. So we're going to craft one of them. After those arrows are done, so we'll, uh, we'll grab some more wood. So I've been alive for four hours in the game so far. I haven't found a zombie, but then again, I haven't really left my starting location. Like I said, I do that for a reason. I don't want to... Uh, um, I don't want to handcuff myself by not being prepared. I've already done that many, many times, and I've learned my lesson. Take your time. You don't have... Unless you're in the snow biome, which is a shitty starting location. Um, very challenging. Hard on new players. If you don't know the game, and you start off in the snow biome, and you want a challenge, go for it. If you don't really want to die a lot uh, from stupid things like being too cold and, and whatnot... And getting hit by big ass lumberjacks who hit like trucks, uh, then you're probably gonna want to restart. That'd be my my suggestion. If you don't want it to be too difficult. So now the aloe vera only stack in stacks of five, so I'm gonna probably run in. I think they do. We'll find out here in a second. So I'm probably gonna have an issue with that here coming up. But. I gotta do it. I gotta grab what I gotta grab, so I can. And I know aloe vera are the uh, yucca stack in stacks of 50. So let's see where this is gonna go. If it goes here, then I know. Come on. Oh, it's gonna be like eight seconds. We'll find out in a minute then. Awesome. Okay. Now, yeah, I was gonna run through that campsite. Let's do that. Gotta be, wah, oh, fuck. Gotta be really careful too here. Um, when you're running and jumping, uh, especially going downhill, it, it can be a little bit dangerous. 
let's load my arrows up and if you're looking at this if you hold down your reload you can select the different types of arrows and that's how if you build a new bow uh, and you want to take your arrow that you've notched out you just select on one you don't have and it will re um, it'll put it back in your quiver for you so you don't uh, lose an arrow that's always uh, something that sucks. I, it took me uh, long. I, I didn't know that right away, and I lost them. I don't know. You lose arrows when you do that. And in this game, you don't want to be losing resources. It's not worth it. Okay, so aloe vera does stack more than five. That's good to know. It never used to. It always used to stack in fives, like the bandages. You can only stack five bandages. It used to only stack five aloe vera. All right. Okay, so let's. Now this is going to get a little dicey in here. So let's um, under weapons here. How much uh, feathers do I have? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to make an iron reinforced club right now. So I can have it to put on the bar, and then we're going to scrap the wooden club I made that I don't need anymore, and we'll, we'll see what level everything's at here. Ah, I gotta wait. Okay. I'm always so impatient when I play, damn it. <clears throat> okay, so what do I got? I got 81 wood and 50 stone and 45 feathers. Okay. So, yeah, see, that's already up to level 60. So, that means what I'm going to want to do here is I'm going to... I, I haven't even used the bow yet, but I'm going to scrap this fucker up. And I'm going to make a brand new bow. We're going to craft one right away. And then that way we know we've got a decent weapon. It's as good as we're going to get for right now. I'll have to do some spam crafting later. So we'll load up. And let's get in here and let's see. Uh, of course, now we've got our first zombie. And there's probably going to be a few down here. Because point of interest, tend to uh, we tend to run into more zombies. I'm just, like I said, I'm running into here because I'm hoping for a, a cook pot. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Search the backpack. Come on. Oh, beautiful. A flashlight right away, too. Nice. Hollow tree stumps are always good, too. Honey. Oh, fucking A. Ah, get away from me, bitch. Okay, so the direction we want to head is that way, and it looks like there's a road that will head that way. So we're going to head to the road. And I think we've got enough starting resources to keep us going for now. We're going to grab shit as we go. It's in our best interest to just... You always want to keep either picking shit up or crafting shit. And my scavenging has gone up. Beautiful. Where is he? Uh, crawler. Crawlers are pains in the ass. I don't feel like dealing with him right now. But at least we have a cooking pot. So when we finally find a place to duck down, uh, we'll be able to set up quite, uh, you know, at least do our bo boil water. Now, I know that I saw some water over here. So I'm wondering if there might be a point of interest down by the water that may make sense to go to first. But you know what? We're just going to... We're just going to bypass these Zeds for now. I don't feel like pick, playing with them. Yeah. There we go. We'll grab those along the way. Oh, aloe vera. Beaut oh. And I should actually take out a zombie here. Of course, it's an Edgar, and they're pains in the ass. A lot of people like to melee them when they're on the ground. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Piss off, you ass clown. Uh-uh. Daddy don't want to play this game. Piss off. I want to loot him. Oh, all right. He had some tablets and some food. Beautiful. Okay, we got. We want to kill that nurse too, I think, because you never know what she's gonna have. Bitch. All right. 
Let's switch back to our bow. Beautiful. Love the decaps. Love it. Okay. Let's see if we can... You do want to take the... When they, when they fall down, you want to get them before they get back up. Because they do tend to give you... Three, if, as long as you get them while they're still laying down, you get a three times bonus. Three times stun bonus. Beautiful. Nurse? Nothing. Ah, you bitch. Oh, well. Okay, so we're, we're leaving the desert, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Because this is an overheating area. But I will grab a little bit of extra yucca along the way. So we've got 10 yucca. Um, we are going to start scrapping the brass for now. It does give you less when you scrap. Uh, it's not ideal. But you at this point of the game because of inventory management you're gonna probably want to uh let's make more aloe cream as well oh, i can't craft right now i'm stuck okay you know what we're gonna grab two more and that way we can craft up three when it becomes available Oh my god, I gotta wait like six seconds for that. Damn it, I don't wanna wait. Don't wanna wait, don't wanna wait. I'm an impatient fucker. Always have been. There we go. Okay, so where is that aloe? Uh, there we go. We'll craft up three more. Uh, you know, I, I'm actually gonna go find four more just so that I can have one. So I can make ten bandages. Two and come on there we go three and four. Oh, we may as well grab this bird's nest too over here okay so where's the last of it there um make one more there we go so we'll have ten bandages now ten decent bandages they're the ones that actually give you health the other ones uh, the shitty little bandages that don't have the uh, the medical sign beside them only give you um, uh, a bit of uh, health. Or no, they don't give you any health. They give you just, they just stop bleeding. So if you want to be able to give yourself some health, well, you're not going to want to, uh, you want to grab as much of that aloe vera as you can. So, but again, moving into the forest, less, um, it's a little easier on the body. You're not dealing with as much uh, temperature variations in the heat. The, the, the heat is a pain in the ass. And well, you'll 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 see that and you'll learn that, and you will be like, okay. Oh man, this is beautiful. It's like lake country, man. If it wasn't the apocalypse, this would be beautiful. Grab some more stones along the way. Oh, now we're getting to some of the other stuff that we want here. Okay. Um, we're going to grab this cotton. Because two cotton gives you one cloth. And two cloth gives you one bandage. So. Come on. Come on. Nothing. Damn it. There's a little road that goes down to the water there. I wonder if there's a point of interest down there. I'm going to probably have to take a look. Kind of meandering along there. And it goes down by the water. And that's... Uh, I don't really want to break my leg doing this. So let's let's go a little further down the road first before we drop down there. All right, I haven't seen many cars on the road here. Only one car so far. Well, one real car. The other burnt out one does not count as a fucking car. At least not in my mind. 
I guess technically it is a car. But it's just not one that I want to... Uh, oh, there we go. There's a car. And what do we get? Anything? 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 Give me something nice. Nothing. Fuck you. Okay, once we get up on this hill here, I'm going to take a look in the direction of town and just see what we can see here. Wow, lots of little paths and shit into the mountains here. Ooh, yes. Okay. Nobody around? Good. Coal. Very, very, very lucrative to grab some coal right now. And now that we're uh, we're in the trees, we're gonna be able to take we're gonna be able to get lumber so much faster. Uh, I'm gonna try and take all this coal if I can right now, just because I want to be able to make torches. And like again, take every bit of it that you can if you if you if you can because you get that little bonus and that little bonus goes a long way. And I should probably get crafting another stone axe. So let's do that. All right. Where is my new stone axe? Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. All right. We're getting there here. Again, I do apologize that this video seems a little dry, but it is a learning video for those who don't play very often. So, now let's let's eat a yucca because we can, and that's going to give us a little bit of a boost. I should put that down on the bar. Take ten percent, ten points of stamina goes a long way to being able to finish shit off. Okay. Let's uh, scrap that shit. Like I said, I, I am. I don't want to have it, so I have darkness. So, and the only way to avoid darkness in this game is to have torches or campfires. But campfires have the uh, lovely bonus of. Hang on. Making sure that I'm not gonna. Oh no 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 no. Don't hit Q, dummy. Okay. Got a few zombies around. Not a big deal. Okay, torches. We're going to make uh, 49 of them because they stack in stacks of 50. So, there we go. Now, let's... Uh, where's our stone axe? There we go. And there's a bit more coal over here. I'm just going to grab just a tiny, oop, tiny bit more. Just because you need coal for gunpowder. So, I'm going to grab another node. And one more node and be done with it. And it's also great for burning fires if you don't have wood. Which, wood is not going to be an issue now. Beauty. Okay, so let's uh, make sure there's no zombies here. There's one over there. Uh, let's grab a couple of easy trees. To get us some more wood going real quick. Come on. There we go. Weird hitbox on that one. Alright. Let's take out a tree. Just one tree for now. One little tree. And how much stone do we have? 50? Okay, we're going to want to be able to... Uh, we're going to want to bump that up pretty quick here. Get some more stone, too. Come on. Hurry up. Let's see. Let's see what kind of a bonus we get for taking one of these trees out here. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's sitting so close. I'm so impatient. I'm so used to having nice tools and, and weapons to work with, so... So an extra 185, well worth your time to take out that whole tree. We're going to grab more cotton, 
I'm not going to make it into cloth just yet. There's no point. And goldenrod is another one of your uh, uh, one of your saving graces. Uh, if you get uh, if you have to eat some bad meat, the goldenrod will take away any of the stomach issues that you get from eating the bad meat. So now I'm going to just be going along picking up plants because well that and hitting tree stumps obviously. Okay, so what does the baseball hat do? It gives us a minus five insulation. Really? Minus? Okay. Well, we'll wear the baseball hat. Why not? And we picked up a shirt, I thought. Yeah, a black t-shirt. And it gives us minus five. So we'll wear the t-shirt too. Why not? If I start getting cold, well, I start getting cold. What else we got? We don't want to leave food behind. Not right now. Like I said, the food in the cans has also got the added bonus that you can use them as a water container until you get some jars. Okay, we're going to leave Edgar alone. We're just going to follow this path for now. Hitting up tree stumps along the way and picking up whatever we can. Alright, I want to get down by the water's edge here and just see if there's uh, a good point of interest along the way here. There's some snowberries, which I don't, uh, I should probably pick a few of them at least. So I have a little bit of extra food. Seeing how they are readily available, even though they don't give you a lot of fullness, uh, it's still better. So this road basically goes into like nothing. Oh, it connects up to. I guess the road kind of breaks off and then starts all over again. Okay, interesting. For whatever reason, the road restarts here. Okay. So this is a water tower. Not really what I'm looking for. For a place to stay for my first night. But I will search the garbage can. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to be finding a ton of oil. I don't really need oil right now. I've got some zombies following me, but that's okay. Let's eat... That's going to make me thirsty, which is fine. Uh, that will give me back my rehydration right now. Well, why won't you eat it? Thank you. I don't need cotton seeds. Okay. Somebody obviously wants to hang out with me. Bye-bye. Peggy, Peggy. I think I saw something over here worth looking at. Backpack or duffel bag. Nice. Oh yeah, we're going to wear that, and nice shotgun stock, and we'll eat the chili. Beauty. So some traveler got taken out and lost his goods. Okay, so now we're into the planes, which, meh. The planes are alright. But, uh, I don't really want to be in the planes. I find that the temperature in the planes is a little bit wonky as well. It's kind of almost like the desert. Uh, from what I've noticed, anyway. Okay, so we got nothing down here by the water. I was kind of hoping to find, like, a house or something by the water, not a water tower by the water. I don't know. Didn't make sense to me, but I'll just, I'll take it. Okay, so there's more water over here, I think. Unless that's just how... Ah, uh, no, I just change a biome. Okay. So we're grabbing up as we go. Oh, may as well search the garbage. I want the dukes. But I don't really want the dukes. Pine seeds we don't need. There we go. And I'm pretty sure I don't need plastic right now either, so I may be getting rid of that as uh, as I'm going here, just because it's not necessary. Don't leave feathers behind. Oh, bunny. I could kill the bunny, but I don't feel like packing uh, any stinky meat on me right now. That will definitely 
attract zombie attention, which I don't need. Not right now. All right. So some more snowberries. I'm going to stop running for a minute here just because. All right, what do we got here? Um, well, if I get three more cotton, then I can uh, make some mix, make 15 cloth, which wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, let's just stand over here for a sec here, and we'll make this, and this will count towards tailoring, which is kind of funny. And, okay, I'm getting to that point now where I've got so much shit on me. And, well, a lot of it I don't, I don't really have a use for right now. All right. Okay. Well, while we're at it here, um, let's strap that. And oh, that's a dumb move. Okay. We'll we'll make another one. Whatever. We got another one queued up. Good to go. Still heading in the general direction of the hub city. Zero zero is. Uh, on the map is generally where your central hub is. At least I know it is for sure on this map because I did take a look at the uh, uh, the generated map. Well, hello. All right. So we got a road that forks off. Dirt path here. I think we're going to take the dirt path for now. And see what kind of house we got over here. I'm not taking just any house either. I'll hide on top of a shitty rooftop through the night just so that I can set up at a better house. I have no problem doing that. And we want those red flowers. The red flowers will give you another kind of tea. Um, it is uh, red tea which uh, cools you down believe it or not. So it has that bonus for you. Now this house here, it does not have a forge. And there's probably a fair amount of zombie activity here. Yeah, they're all just standing there waiting for me. But this house is near water. But a lot of fucking zombies. So you know what? We're going to move on. I'm not going to hang out here. We are still trying to head in the general direction of the hub, so. All right, can I eat? Okay, I need to, that's for my stone ax. So we can scrap that now. And now we have a brand new stone ax. Beautiful. Alright, let's get back on a weapon here so we're at least ready to go. Man, this is some beautiful terrain. I'm loving it. Loving it. Alright. Oh, there's some more red flower. We'll grab those along the way. Alright. Now, I know I could have been looting those houses and probably could have picked up a place to hang out, but I don't really want that house. Bugger off. Alright. We are in dire need of... And I'm not hungry. Okay. What about thirsty? Damn it. If I drink, I lose the jar. Okay. Well, we're not doing that. We're just going to walk for a sec. Regrettably, I got to do some walking. Oh. Might as well grab the bird's nest while we're waiting. Alright, um, what do we got here? Let's get going up the hill here. Oh, another fucking Edgar. Okay, we're getting really close to the hub city here, so I'm a little bit nervous. 
I don't really want to go right into the hub. Because then I'm going to be dealing with dogs and everything else. And I am in no way, shape, ready for deal with dogs. Uh-uh. Alright, what do we got here? Once we get up over this... Yeah, see? It's over the hill. Oh, 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 he startled me a little bit. Okay, anything down in the valley there that looks like a home or anything? No. Alright, well, we're going up. We're going to go hiking up the hill here. It's getting a little bit later in the day, and, well, we're going to need to figure this out here pretty damn quick here. Probably have to just hook up with... Uh, a simple, simple place to hang out for the night. Let's see where we're at here. Oh, garbage. Money. I'm not worrying about money right now. That's only one dollar. I'm not going to get rid of something there just so that I can pick up one fucking bill. That ain't happening. Now, if this is the hub... I, uh, if we're getting close to it, then I'm going to hopefully find a home that I can bunk out in close by. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, all of which would be great, except for the fact that, well, oh man, what do I get rid of here? Um, actually, recipes. Duct tape. We'll craft two duct tape so we can take the bullet casings. Because I can't craft them right now and I'm going to need them. So. Come on. Picking up these red flowers along the way just because I'm. Once they get settled in, I want to be able to. All I'm going to need to get then is water and some jars. Let's get motor in before he touches us. Oh, I'm loving the terrain in this one. Alright. Up and down in the valleys. Now, this map, from what I saw, um, has a ton of mountains. And I kind of wanted that. I didn't want boring terrain. And I actually, the one town that I did find uh, in my original load. I don't know if it's going to be different now, but uh, there was homes built right into the rock, which was really cool. Um, come on. Okay, I can see a road here. Awesome. Now, if we're coming up on the hub here, I'm going to have to be a little bit more cautious here. I think we are, but I could be wrong. Is that a bag? No, it's a tire. Alright. So let's see where this takes us. So we got a road and a path side by side. Okay. Oh man. Wow. Some pretty crazy terrain there. Okay, she's getting tired. I know, I know. Alright. So where are we at here? We're at a crossroads. Now that juts up into the mountain. And it looks like it takes me into some snow and shit. So I don't know if I want to go that way. So let's take a look down over here and see what we see. Craziness. Uh, I wanted to find the center point on the map here so I can actually get to the hub here. So I'm going to have to... Uh, Let's climb up here for a second. 
Alright. Map. Map. So. Oh, I got a fucking zombie coming at me. Fuck you. Alright, we're just gonna head up this road. For now. We got a higher viewpoint then. Of course, I'm starting to get all slow and shit. And look at the time. Okay, it's 5 o'clock. So I've got f 5 hours of daylight left. And I still haven't even found a place to hunker down yet. And I, I might have actually blasted by the, uh, the center. Just because I wasn't exact. Ooh. We're going to start getting cold here soon. Wow. Look at this. This is just crazy. And we got a lumberjack. Oh, no. Okay, prick. Don't be messing with me. Leave me alone, man. Come on. Oh, over his shoulder. That didn't, that's not good. Oh, you see, these guys are tough bastards. If you get two or three of them on you, man, you're done. And they hit like fucking cement trucks, man. Yay! Killed my first lumberjack. Uh, what a waste. Okay. Well, we got a minute here. I am going to check my map out one more time. Okay, let's strap that. Alright, let's map it up here. Let's take, take a look at where we are. Okay, so zero, zero is... That's almost zero. So, like, that's supposed to be where my hub city is. Pretty damn close, man. So, no hub city. Unless the hub city is all fucked up. Because of this terrain. Oh, I am full up on feathers now. Okay, um, let's just quickly make uh, more arrows. Just so we can pick up the last of these feathers. And that's a forge house, isn't it? Yes, it is. And it's going to be fucking protected by ass clown lumberjacks most likely so we know we have a one for is that a is that a forge I want to just quickly have a little look that is a forge house and I'm not sure I want to stay in the winter let's just take another little look around here I haven't found a single city yet, and that's just kind of making me a little bit nervous. Crazy. Alright, let's go this way. I should be able to see something. That's why I like these high vantage points, because there's another house there, too. This is just so mountainous. Like I don't I don't know that there's going to be a city here. Oh man, I want both those things. Son of a bitch. Um well that's a shitty pistol barrel, so we're gonna scrap that. That way we can take both those things. I did kinda wanna have another look up here, but 
You know, I don't really want to get into this cold area again. Uh, we may as well. And nothing. Okay. Another forge house? Or is that the same one? No, that's another forge house. I think. Yep, that's another forge house. Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna keep those in mind. I don't really want to live in them right now though, because this is like I said, snow biome is not ideal for living. Not in my mind. All right. Well, gotta pick something soon, because the daylight hours are a burning. All right, now we're back into. Ah. Interesting. Back into plains. Okay, we're just going to bolt straight south. Let's just see what we find. Because I do really want to be able to uh, have access to good water. Even if that means... Uh, there we go. There we go. Off in the distance. We can see it now. Beautiful. Oh, careful. No breaking legs, damn it. Alright. We're almost... We're almost where we want to be. Keep grabbing all this shit up because you're going to need it. So... I know I haven't stopped for trees or rocks or anything lately, but I will be as soon as I get to where I'm going. And the one thing I will be having to make, obvious, uh, I'm thinking, oh, 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 oh. Do I want to pick up a piece of corn? Really? Yeah, we're going to scrap that down and we're going to pick up that piece of corn. Because one piece of corn is generally enough to start a farm. Might be slow going at first, but usually a start all right and what do we have over here is that another forge house because we are getting closer to the hub city which ah piss off ah get off man don't even and it is a forge house, but it's got a fucking lumberjack right on the doorstep. So we're not going to deal with that. Not right now. All we're trying to do is get to a decent location to hook up. For the night. And I know I saw a town over here, so... Yeah, there we go. Wow, okay. Damn. Sketchy. Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. Alright. Grab a few more of these along the way. And let's hopefully find ourselves a place to bunk down. Chicken! Cock! Alright. So, no roads going off, so that means there's going to be no cabin off to the side here, I don't think. But that's okay. Keep that stamina up. Piss off, ladies. I ain't in the mood. And right off the bat, we have two shops. Oh. Oh, and a backpack. And of course, there's a bunch of stuff in it that I want. Um, you know what? We're in town now. We can scrap those. And... Scrap that. And we'll scrap that. No. 
Uh, uh. Bitches, I knew you were going to come over here and bug me. No. Get off. Ladies, 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 stop it. No. Bugger off. No. Okay. Phew. Food. You know what? Um, whatever's in this backpack, I wanted the flashlight. So we can scrap that one, actually. Good enough. And um, she had a bunch of food on her. Don't really care about the food. Well, I kind of do, but... I'm in town now. Oh, my God. Um... A pistol is better than that shitty hunting rifle barrel. And those pistol parts can get scrapped too. Don't really care. Awesome sauce. Okay. Let's get down into town here. And it's getting nighttime. So we're going to have to... we got to find a place to hang out for the night. Pick this corn up. Oh, come on. All right. So, oh, and there's another prison. And, well, folks, you know what? I'm going to be taking over. Ooh, ooh, I've got choice. Ooh, I like choice. There's the prison. Or the, uh, I don't know what to call that. An outpost? I guess. Oh, man. Ah, wow, this is a tough fucking call. I think the prison is going to be where I'm going to hunker down for the night. Oh, there's a working stiffs right there. And a crack -a book right beside the fucking prison. And another working stiffs. Oh, this is a fucking gold mine. Oh, my God. Okay, well, guess what? We found our new home. We found a home. Finally. Okay, so let's make some wood frames. We're going to make uh, 20. Oh, I got, uh, you know what? We can, uh, we can just get rid of that. Fuck off. We'll pick some corn while we're waiting for those to build up. Look at all this... Look at all this, man. This is... This is... Oh, my God. This is a freaking beautiful setup. Oh, fuck me. I love it. I love it. Everything I could possibly need is in this town. All right. Let's get our asses inside the prison walls. So... That gets us over. Oh, come on. You want to pick that last piece up. Screw it. You guys can have it, man. I don't care. Now, I know there's going to be zombies down in there. I'm not too fucking worried about them. I'm more worried about getting myself... Uh, over top here. Okay, one there, one there. Not gonna be perfect. Yep, I'll work with that. Perfect. We are on the roof. 
Actually, and because they're wrecking everything here, we're going to... Why can't I pick those up? Really? Pick it up, man. Weird. I placed that, and it, yet it's not letting me pick it up. Thank you. Good enough. For now, anyway. Okay, so where we're here, let's... Um, Let's do this. We're just going to go boom, boom. Get rid of those. Let's craft ourselves a storage container. Craft just one. One for now. Drop it right there. And let's... let's I'm gonna need those. Oh my god, I just dropped them again. Oh, 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 I'm batting a thousand right now. Because before nightfall, I'm gonna have to take care of the zombies that are kicking everything here. Oh man, look at them all coming for me. They don't like me being here, man. But you know what? Quite honestly, letting them beat the shit out of everything to try and get up to me is probably a good idea. Because they'll bust a lot of these doors open for me. I won't have to do any of the work then. So we'll put that back on the bar. Let's, uh, let's see about getting rid of a couple of them anyway. There we go. There's one. Come on. Come on, clown. There we go. What? Oh, I'm thirsty. There. Oh man, you guys are fucking noisy. Shut up. Probably be easier to fight him down there, but there's just too fucking many now. Actually, let's just do this. Um, one there, one there. There we are. Wow, they, they decimated that uh, wood block I left down there real quick. Oh, come on. Really? Really? And they're going to start running soon. Uh, so I won't be going down there to do any fighting. Not right now. There we go. Stay down. Like I said, stay down. Oh, come on. There we are. 
There we go. And you just called more in, didn't you? Yeah, fucker. Come on, die, bitch, die. Hey, she's getting a little too close for comfort there. Oh. If I had time, I'd make some wood spikes and I'd go take these fuckers out, but I don't have the time, so... There, he's not a problem anymore. And, oh, come on, I want to get to her stun damage. That's not happening. She's underneath the other zombie. Come on. There we go. Come on. No. Man, they're just stacking right up on top of each other. Piss off. I can't believe I didn't think to get his stun damage. There we go. There. Just about, just about got it all done. I guess I could have jumped down there and dealt with him, but you know what? I didn't want to. There we go, one left. I think they already busted through that wall too, so. Come on, spin it around. Oh, I miss. Come on, Edgar. Ugh. No, I could have, I guess I could have crouched down and got maybe a bit better of a Get the sneak damage. That might have helped. Oh. Well, that explains why that ain't happening. Let's see what'll happen if I shoot the bitch. I didn't really want to waste bullets on this shit, but... Oh, that's a bit better. Quiet these fuckers down. Yeah, they're 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 still in the prison, so if they bust a few doors open, that ain't a bad thing. Two bullets left. Come on. Oh, I thought she was dead. There we go. 
Oh, and there we go. Okay, we just got one more banging on the wall out there, but I'm not going to worry about it now. Nothing to worry about, really. Alrighty, folks, I'm going to say thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more of what I do, hit that subscribe button. And, you know, leave a comment in the section below. It would be great to chat with you. I love chatting with you guys. And I'm going to say uh, we'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out and happy hunting.